Is it a lock Sam Darnold's going to the Browns? You know, I don't know. Um, I, I would I would feel that way, but I, I'm out here in Laramie, Wyoming. I'm going to run Josh Allen's pro day tomorrow. And as uh, as easy of a, as a decision it would be to take Sam with the whole body of work, Dan, I, I mean, this, this kid, Josh Allen, is like maybe the most talented dude I've ever seen. What I you- mean, size, arm talent. Um, how, also just how intelligent he is, the type of person he is. So, you know, he's from a smaller school, and he's had a really interesting route, no offers, JUCO, Wyoming. Um, you know, Sam in most drafts, I think, is a lock to be number one, but obviously I'm not going to sit here and pick one, but I think that Josh is going to do so well tomorrow that it's going to be really interesting. Okay, but if you're the Cleveland Browns, who would you take, knowing what the Cleveland Browns are and what they have? So I know you love both of them, Josh Allen and Sam Darnold, but who is best for Cleveland, in your opinion? You know, I don't know enough about exactly what Cleveland needs, and I'm going to be really honest with you. I can't answer that. <laughs> I know <laughs> that, but that's why I, I, it, it, it would well, have yeah, been made a headline. Yeah, I figured, I, yeah. I you know, you, you shook off the uh, the sign there from the from the catcher. So, all right, I get that. I uh, but, so Josh Allen's got more talent than any other quarterback you've seen. Yeah, you know, I, I played with Carson in his prime. I played with Cutler in terms of arm talent. And, and this doesn't necessarily mean he's the, the best I've ever seen, right? Um, just in terms of arm talent and his, his abilities, I haven't really seen anything like it. And I was, even people want to talk about Jamarcus Russell. We were ball boys together at the Elite 11. We were counselors in college at the Elite 11 twice. And we were the same draft class. I played a lot of catch with Jamarcus in his prime. Yeah, this dude, uh, it's just, he creates so much energy. Um, and uh, it's so effortless. And I mean, he's, you know, he's nice and trim for the combine, but I mean, he's going to, he'll, he'll play at 245 and he's really fast too. And he can stop and start. So how far does he throw it? I'm, I'm actually really excited to see. I, I, at the end of the pro days, I have him kind of move around, flip the other direction, set up. And I have somebody run like a curl and then the quarterback runs around. I have that guy stop running his curl and take off just to the, as far as he can across the field. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, he may throw it 80 yards tomorrow. We'll see. I don't want to hype it up too much, but um, I mean, Sam threw it 65, something like that, 70 maybe yesterday. And at the end of the workout, I, I don't know how far Josh can throw it, but he's going to tell everybody tomorrow. If I put the over under at 82 yards, what are you taking? That's actually a great over under. Um, I think I'm taking the over. <laughs> Does, when the juice starts flowing, yeah, and, you yeah. know, indoor, it's not going to rain on us tomorrow. Oh, I know. I'm taking the over. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.